join us. Today we're going to be drawing some cool cute dogs. Now I've got I've been busy doing some at home and uh, ready for today's session. All right what you're going to need is a, a pencil, some paper, a rubber and some something to colour in with. As I said welcome I'm pretty excited to be hosting this session with you guys. Um, we're going to be drawing some dogs and I'm going to show you how to draw different types of dogs and how to dress them up to make them a, look, a little bit, a bit like people. I hope you've seen these pictures already and I'm about to just turn my camera over and face it down so there'll just be a little bit of a uh, delay here. Just bear with me as I do that. Okay, I'm just going to position myself so you guys can see it clearly. Alrighty, thank you so much for um, joining us. We've already got over 50 people online, which is fantastic. I hope you guys can see this. Today, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to draw these dogs using simple lines and shapes, okay? So, I've, you've got a pencil ready. I like to draw in pencil first, just in case I um, make any... Uh, want to make any changes later on. Now you can see from my little journal, I've been practicing lots of different dogs. Now I've put it past my um, family to say, see which ones were their favorites and you can see the ticks. So today we're gonna draw these five. I didn't color that one in because I thought we may only get to do five. All right, let's get started with a pencil. So. If you look at this one, we're gonna start with the, the Frenchie, the French Bulldog. We're gonna start with a circle. Now, if you guys play sport, you'll know that you have to do some training. So in art, we do some training, and one of the things you should be training at is drawing circles. So if you can draw a circle, a nice circle, using your whole arm, not just your wrist, because it's really hard just to move your fingers, but if you move your whole arm, you can draw lots of circles pretty easily. I'm drawing a few circles and I'm leaving some space between them because we're going to turn those circles into some of these characters. I know, simple shapes, hey? All right, if I do go a little bit too fast for you, you can actually pause the video. You can press pause and you can catch it up later and this will be uploaded onto my YouTube channel probably within the next 24 hours. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. All right. So we've got the general head shape of this French Bulldog. In the middle, we're gonna draw a rounded triangle shape, like so, for the nose, okay? Now, during today's session, it would be fantastic if you could tell me whether you're from a school or whether you're at home, where you're, where you're from, that'd be great, because I'm super excited to see where everyone's from. Now we're gonna draw a circle and another circle. Now I know the holidays being extended here in Queensland is quite tough on some people. Art is a great way of relaxing and taking your mind off things. All right, a couple of circles inside there for the pupils. So at the moment we've just done the circles of different sizes and a rounded triangle. Now this shape here, we're going to from the top of the nose come around and create a shape like so. Almost an oval shape, can you see that? And then we're gonna come down and around and do the same on the other side. Now, remember, if you've been watching my videos, there's no such thing as mistakes, it's all learning. Okay, it's okay to make, if, you, if it, you're not quite happy with it, you try again, okay, you persist. All right, so we have Got the, the French Bulldog's uh, cheeks, I'll call them the cheeks. And we've got this little bit down here. Now we're gonna put five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and the same on the other side. Okay. Now the ears. The ears look kind of tricky, don't they? But I'm gonna show you a simple way to draw the ears. Okay, you might like to just draw it straight up, but here is another way. If we draw a oval shape like so, and then all we have to do is just come in and create a shape like that for the ears. 
See how I did the oval really lightly and then the ear, that shape. We can do the same on the other side. This helps us get the proportions right, okay? Because art is about looking and comparing. Now this is a cute little French Bulldog. Now you'll notice that mine's different to that one. It's not gonna be exactly the same every single time I draw it. Because this is probably the second or third time I've drawn this, this character. So we've got the little line for the ears. Now, this, this Bulldog is uh, wearing some thongs. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right, we're gonna draw this leg here and it's a bit hard to see with the coloring in because I made the, the brown quite dark. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a oval, sh a bit of a curve line like so out that side because you can see more of his body out here and it's just his leg on that side. Then I'm going to draw an one oval shape there and just out, probably the same distance out over here and on the same angle, we're gonna put another one the same size. These are gonna be how we draw his paws, okay? They are gonna be his paws. Think of these light lines that I'm drawing as guidelines. All right, I'm just gonna bring his leg up there like a curve shape there. And that's gonna be the back, back of the dog. And then another little line through there for the leg. And then the body, that'll just join onto the head. So now I'm starting to piece together. Now I'm just gonna bring a line, straight line out there. And then the leg gets thinner as it comes down like so, little curve line like that. And now I'm just gonna go back over some of these lines. Now, if I'm going a little bit too fast, remember you can pause it. All right, now I might just zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, there we go. That might be a bit better for you guys. Okay, so these paws here. Now these, we're gonna do four toes. So one, two, three, lines so three curved lines like almost like the letter c now teachers you should be encouraging your kids to be uh drawing so they can get better handwriting get better fine motor skills let's go back this way one two three lines like so all right now if you wanted to put thongs on your dog you, you can but if you don't want to that's okay as well but to put the thongs on all it is is a matter of putting a curved line coming around for the base of the thong. And then from the middle toe, an archway over there, and then another, another curved line like so, and they're the thongs. Okay, and the same on here. We put a line coming from here and around, and then another curved line like so, and another one going over like so. There we have our French Bulldog. Now, what we're gonna do is rather than draw them and then color them, we're gonna draw a number of them and then I'm gonna get you to choose which one you would like to um, color in, okay? How are we going there? Sunshine Coast at home, thanks, Beck. I'm, hope, I'm sure that's Olivia, is it? Welcome. Okay, let's draw the Dash Hound now. The dash hound is pretty cute. Now I've made the dash hound have glasses and a nice little fluffy coat on there. You could have what, whatever you like. If, you, if it was Christmas time, you could put a Christmas hat on. All right, the same way to go about drawing it. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the screen. There we are. Starting with the circle. Now you can see that her head is on a lean. So what I'm gonna do here is put a really light line through the middle there. This is the line of symmetry, if you've learned about that. Same things on both sides. Okay, so the nose is gonna sit here. Again, another little rounded triangle, but smaller. They have a smaller nose. And then I'm going to draw this shape. Now, because I've got the line of symmetry, we've got to try and keep that the same distance apart. If I zoom in a little bit, I'm just hoping you can still see that okay. Just move that up for you. There we are. 
Okay, now we've got two circles for the eyes. One, two. They're the glasses and then the little eyeballs. You can colour them in now or later on. It's up to you. Looks good if you colour them in. And then a little, little arch curve line for the middle of the glasses. And then a cross and a cross line like so. And now we're going to put this, these cute ears on. Okay, almost like the letter S. You ready? But a little bit, not quite as sharp a curves. Okay, see how that's sort of almost like an S. And then we're going to go back the other way, like so. And now, this dash hound is wearing a fluffy jacket. But before we get onto the clothes, let's just draw the dog if we wanted to draw it. So this is going to be like a big, long oval shape, like so. Almost like a rounded rectangle. Okay, going that way. Now the sausage, oh, the dash, dash hound, also known as the sausage dog here in Australia, um, is a, quite a long dog. All right, rounded shape like so for the leg, one there and the other one at the back there. That leg's gonna be a bit longer. A couple of little lines for the paws. Now the front legs are slightly different because we want this one to look like it's in front. So what we're gonna do, is sort of from about here, we're gonna come down and come up like so. And then the other leg is gonna be the front of the body. This is the back, the leg behind this one. All right, now if we wanna make this, ha oh, don't forget the tail. Sometimes I do forget little bits. There's the tail. All right, so there's the, um, Dash Hound, let's dress it up the same. If you wanna dress it up the same, you can. To do that, we're gonna do the, um, some, basically I'm just gonna draw another line, like so, like a oval, that'd be an oval shape, but then I'm gonna put bumps on that oval shape, like so. Now remember, it's practice, people. Now, because this is curving, and we're on this half of it, it curves that way. If I was drawing it on that side, I would curve it that way. But because we're on this side of the dog, I'm curving this around to make it look like she is rounded. That's why I've done it like so. Not straight up and down, because that would then it would turn the dog flat. And there's the other part of her um, top. And then we can put the other part on here with the sleeve. And there we have the, the dash hound. All right, looking pretty good. I hope you guys are keeping up. Oh, we've got some people from Adelaide. I'm originally from South Australia. We've got some people from Yamundi, fantastic. All right, so we have a bulldog and our dash hound. Let's move on to our Pomeranian. We've got a friend of mine, Paul, welcome. Okay, so we've got uh, the Pomeranium here now. This little cute character here, I'm just gonna move it into the middle of the camera so we can see that. When, it, when I'm drawing live, it's a, I've just gotta um, guess where it is a little bit. Okay, with the Pomeranium, we've got our circle drawn. If you haven't, draw a circle. Now we're gonna put the eyes they have really cute little faces. Two little eyes and a little nose with a couple of little bits out here like so, and then a little tongue. So cute little face and they're really fluffy. So what we do next is we get this and we come down. What we could do first is just draw like a beard almost. And we bring it sort of down like that just to show the fluffiness of the Pomeranian. So it's almost like a zigzag with curves in it. All right, what we do next is we create the, the hat. 
this Pomeranium, surely it's got enough fur to keep it warm, but it must love the, to be warm with this nice little beanie on. Christmas beanie, curved shape on top, little bumpy pom-pom. And then a couple of straight lines coming off there with another little pom-pom like so. What you can do is draw a circle and then do the fluffiness on the circle if you prefer to do it that way. I'm just going to put this, this line here is basically where it gets lighter. Okay. We have another oval shape over here. If I was pretended that I was gonna go through, that's the body. Then the tail, you can do a number of ways. Some people do them sort of like this, you know, I'm just gonna draw a curve line, bump it off like so, and then bring it back down a bit narrower, but you could make them fluffy. All right, so we've got the tail and the body on. Now we wanna put a leg on this side, so a line coming down and another line coming down. And then another line out this way. Now what I've, what I've tried to do is with these drawings is make it so that boys and girls can join into our sessions. So that's why I've chosen a dog because lots of people like dogs. Sorry, cat fans. Okay, we have, oh, we could put any patterns we like on the, the beanie. So I've chosen a zigzag there. You could do some stripes this time. Stripes that way, plain, or maybe put some little, little spots on. Repeat the patterns in, in artwork. When you repeat something, that's called repetition. So we've got three dogs here. What happens if we wanted to make a dog look really cool? We could put some sunglasses on it. Perhaps we could put one on our next picture, the Mastiff, the big Mastiff. Let me just get another piece of paper maybe. Yep, I'm gonna get another piece of paper for this Mastiff. Okay, I'm gonna draw the Mastiff and we might choose, I might show you on this Mastiff some different options, okay? So I'm gonna draw him a bit bigger this time. So hoping you guys can see that. I might need to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Bigger circle this time around. I've got another piece of paper, but you don't have to. Starting the same way as the French Bulldog. Rounded triangle for the nose. And then we bring this down. He's got big cheeks. You know, one of those dogs that slobbers a lot. <laughs> okay, we're coming up and across like so. That's his big nose. And you could put, put a line through there. I didn't on mine, but you can if you want to put a bottom lip on. Now I colored mine a little bit too dark there, the brown and the nose, you can't really see that. All right, let's say that this Mastiff or this dog was want, wanted to have some sunglasses on. What we could do is we could put some sunglasses on him, like so. That come across the top of his nose. Now you can see that I've drawn a bit too heavy for the first one, but there he's got some sunnies on. We could even put some aviators on for the older people in the room, on the session. And then we've got the ear coming down like so, and another ear coming down like so, and we could just put a line there to end where the glasses are. Now he's gonna be wearing this, he could be wearing a beanie, could be wearing a Santa's hat, but at the moment I've got a cool cap on him. So shape over like so. Now whilst, whilst you are drawing, we might have to have a bit of a um, poll to see which one you want me to show you how to color in. So if you want to put in the chat which one you would like to see colored, because I don't know whether we've got time to color them all in, but I do have some tips I want to share with you about coloring. All right, so if I am going a little bit faster now, 
but you can see basically most drawings are made up of five key elements, straight lines, circles, which are ovals as well, curve lines, angles, and dots. If you can learn to draw all of those things and different angles, different curve lines as well, you can become a really awesome drawer. And who knows, all these characters and that you see in movies and books, they've all been designed by an artist. So if you love to draw, who knows, one day your book, uh, your character could be in a book, it could be in a movie, got a little triangle here. Could be a TV show like Bluey. Now I have drawn a few other ones, other live sessions recently. If you, if you, this is your first session, I've got Bluey, uh, Sing 2, Sonic, and who's the other one that I did? It was um, Harry Potter. Okay. Now I have had lots of requests from people about drawing different items as well, but I can't do them all. And I've chosen ones that both boys and girls can do, but I will endeavor this year to try and get some more just on my YouTube channel. They're not live. Okay, so you can see that most of these lines are curved lines and curved lines can be quite tricky. But what we can do if we're copying something, we can put a line, a pencil, which is a straight line against something and see which way the curves and angles go to give us some help with that. All right, he's got sunnies on this time. Oops, don't forget the, the cap on sort of sideways backwards. Curve line, another curve line through there. Now with the shirt, we have a curve line going that way, okay? Not that way because this is down below, so it's got to come up. If it was up the top, it would come down like so. Let's have a look there like that. We want to make it look rounded, okay? And that's what I've done. This is like the, uh, sometimes you know how you have um, T-shirts or shirts that have little, little uh, I don't know, what do you call them? Bands around them, I suppose. It's probably a term for it, I've forgotten. A couple of curved lines, a couple of curved lines. You could put some buttons on. Here we have a dog, a mastiff, wearing sunnies and a cap. What we could do if we wanted to, he's a pretty hipster dog, so we might put a bit of a gold chain coming around his neck. What do you reckon? We've got a little gold chain coming around, just a couple of little circles that way. He's like a gangster mastiff. And I've finished it there because that would come around the back of his neck. You could link them up a bit better. I've just simplified it in as circles. All right, I've drawn, I reckon, four of the dogs. I'm just wondering which one of these should we draw this one as well? Yep, let's draw that one. Down the bottom of this one, I'm gonna draw him. Okay, this one's a bit like a pirate dog. Ooh, 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 I just saw something that I forgot, and I do forget a few lines here and there. I'll have to update that one. All right, so this time, this one has got, some dogs have longer faces, so I'm gonna make this a longer face. So it's gonna be, instead of a circle, it's gonna be a oval shape. And I'm going to draw a, basically a triangle for this here. Can you see that triangle? Just finished it there. I didn't carry it all the way through. This one's almost like a rectangle or a diamond. Slightly different ears, you could do them the same if you want. Nose, simple triangle, mouth. These are all simplified drawings of a dog, okay? Now for the eye, he's got an eye patch. And he's got one eye closed, having a little rest. Let's 
It's got like a little bandana on. So almost a love heart, see that? Almost, a, if I was, I could continue that as a love heart, but I'm not going to. And curve line down here, curve line down here. Straight line. Straight up. Wow, we've got lots of people all over Queensland. That's so cool. We've got people in Toowoomba and central Queensland. Welcome, guys. And everyone else, obviously. I'm just seeing a few comments pop up while I'm drawing. I hope you're getting something out of today's session. You're at least getting to do some cool drawing, which is awesome because art is great for your mindfulness. All right, so there we have the pirate dog. We're just missing a couple of little little bits. Now imagine if this pirate dog accidentally lost his tail. He could end up having a little hook for the tail, like Captain Hook tail. Okay, want me to zoom in? There we go. That's probably, yeah, that's better. I've got to get used to zooming in and out. I'll get better as the sessions go on. I've got another one tomorrow and I might show you a sneak peek soon too. All right, so what, what did you reckon? We've got Pomeranian, Pomeranian. We've got um, Pirate Dog. Pomeranian is so cute. Does it look like the Pomeranian's the choice? That's the most comments I think I've got. Would you agree, Kate? I've got my wife sitting there helping me today. All right, so let's look at the Pomeranian. You can choose whichever one you would like, but I'm gonna choose the Pomeranian and what I'm gonna teach you here will apply to any of the other ones as well, okay? All right, I'm just gonna teach you whether you know or not about permanent markers. You could use a normal outliner, that's fine, but Sharpies, permanent markers are good, but you need to have something underneath. If you don't have something underneath, it will go onto your table and upset your mum or dad or whoever you're with or your teacher. So if using a permanent marker, do have something underneath, put something underneath. Now this is the time when you can fix up any little bits that you weren't happy with. So for example, I just made those pores a little bit different. I'm just gonna make this a little bit different through there. One, two. Now my, I'm using a thin one. No point using a really fat texture for a small drawing. Make sure you choose the right tool for the job. As an artist, guys, you have to be making decisions all the time. What's the best thing to use? Okay, I'm using a thin one for this. And I'm just going over all my lines. Now, if you've seen some of my normal YouTube videos, you'll see that I speed this up. But I'm just showing you, I simplified that tail down a little bit. This is good practice for fine motor tracing over things as well that you've already done. Now, the reason I don't do it straight in permanent markers is if I do want to change anything, I can't. If it's permanent marker, I'd have to start again. So I'm going over all of this. If you've only got a normal outliner, that's fine as well. The permanent marker gives us flexibility. So for example, if I wanted to use watercolor pencils on this or textures that made you other, um, it, this won't smudge. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's not gonna smudge. So I'm gonna put some lines through there. Now, how you color your Pomeranian is up to you, but I am gonna show you a few little, little tips today. So I've drawn the circles. All right, we need to make sure though that we get rid of our pencil lines first and we need to make sure that the permanent mark is dry before we do that, otherwise it can smudge, all right? So any of these tips that I've given you today, you can apply to all your drawings, hopefully. Hopefully I'm teaching you a few things as well as you guys having a bit of fun. 
and I can't wait. My kids actually join in and do it up in the house while I'm busy doing this. So it's kind of cute to see their, their drawings as well. If you've seen my channel, you would have seen Ari. He, he loves drawing. So he's probably up in the house. And same with my older son, Hudson. All right, let's choose some colors for the Pomeranium. Now, if you've only got one brown or if you've only got pencil, I'll show you a few ways. Let's say I only had one pencil to use. There's one thing I can do to, to make, to draw that. I can press harder and layer it and then lighter for the lighter bit. So you can see the variation that I can get. This would be for, oops, I've got a folded edge there. This would be for like, you know, see, see how it's darker on the outside and lighter there. Or we can use different colors, okay? I wasn't sure which one. And I've got some normal Faber-Castell uh, textures here. Oh yeah, let's see what those two look like. I actually used Copic markers for, for that. But I'm gonna just use ordinary Faber-Castell connector pens. So here we go. Color in the texture first. I'm coloring in my light bits. See how I'm outlining? I'm outlining. And then when we color, we're gonna go up and down in the longest section. So for example, the leg, I wouldn't try and color sideways, I'd color up and down that leg, etc., etc. I'm outlining the little tongue because I don't want to put skin color in the tongue. Got the light sections of the Pomeranium. You can see my Pomeranian's different to the one I drew yesterday. And slightly different colors as well. If you wanted to just use pencil, this is where you could use pencil. But what I would love to see is people share their pictures with me on either Facebook or Instagram or get your parents to email them through because I'd love to create like a, a, an album of everyone's cool drawings. That's only if you want to share, you don't have to, but it is good to, good to share things that you've been doing. Now remember, just like sport, the more you, more you practice, the better you're gonna get. Okay, I'm not, not sure if you guys play sport, but uh, you gotta to go to training, you gotta practice, you gotta persist. Same with drawing. Even, even me just doing some of these drawings, I've noticed that I'm, I'm even getting better at this type of drawing. The nice little, little drawings. Normally I'm sort of big and free with my pictures. All right, so we've, I'm gonna make those eyes a little bit bigger. I reckon just a fraction bigger. And then we're gonna put some color on the top of the, the beanie. This is just a random texture that I've got. I like blue, so I'm gonna do something different here. Blue and white stripes, all look good. And I might do some blue dots. And then I might do some blue ones of these this time. Blue fluffy pom-poms. No reason why you couldn't put a Santa's hat on that or a helmet. Something that you can obviously see. See the rest of the dog. Now this is a little brush marker pen that I've got. I'm just using it to do the pink bits in the background here. Just going around that. That's the difference with drawing. If this, If I was painting this, I would probably paint it all pink first, then put the dots on afterwards. But with the textures, they don't go over each other. So that's why we've got to do it like this. Being as careful as I can. I'm sure you guys are being super careful at home. Uh, I've got to do some now I think that white looks a bit funny, so I might bring in another color in there. Do I have another? 
I do have a light pink. I'll use a lighter pink this time. Now you don't have to do it my colours. You could do rainbows, you could do all sorts. Oops, I didn't do the, the tongue. That looks better. But the tongue and all oh, these little bits down here, I do forget sometimes. Now that looks pretty good, but I reckon I can make that even better with a bit of pencil. So, let me test. It's good to have a test piece. That brown's no good. This brown is okay. Uh, let's see if this other brown that I've got here is, is pretty good. Yep, I'm gonna go with that brown. And now, if we wanna make it a bit 3D, we can put some darker bits on the bottom right. If the light's coming from here, we put the darker sides on here, on the right hand bottom side of our picture. I'm just putting a little bit of dark into the pores. Darkness underneath there. Underneath there. And put a little bit of in here as well. Underneath the hat, I'm going fairly fast, but you got to think about where the light would hit and where the shadows would be on the dog, and that's what I'm trying to achieve at the moment. You could even put in some little, if you wanted to put, have some fur, you could put in some little fur lines. Yep, you can see that on the camera pretty good. Technology's come a long way. I'm actually just using my iPhone to record this. No fancy, no real fancy setup, just, just my phone. Um, let's go with a bit of a, yep, darker colour for around the pink areas. If you've only got pencils, remember that the way you can control how dark and light it is is pressure, etc., etc. Now that's looking pretty good. If you wanted it to make it look like it was sitting on some green grass, you could do some green underneath. It's really up to you guys. I'll just show you that and then we'll wrap it up for today. So if you wanted to make it look like the Pomeranium is sitting on some grass, we can put some grass down here like so. and a little bit of darkness underneath there with a different green or the same green, just pressure helps. Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me. And thanks for your lovely comments as well. Today we've drawn, oh, where'd you go? Here they are. Today we've drawn some characters and you can use your own creativity to put on some of your own clothes or colours that you like. But that's what we've drawn today. Tomorrow, it, we are going to be drawing some cool plants. And here are some of the ideas that I've got so far. I've got, got a Venus flytrap, a Mario flower and some other ones. And I'm gonna show you how to put expression and details onto those tomorrow. So thanks a lot, people, everyone. Um, I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now. Thanks a lot, guys.